Alright, W build Diablo. Three, two, one, two, 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 two. Five, four, three, two, one. Guess I'll overexplain Diablo a little bit. All right. So first thing about Diablo that's really basic that no one actually knows is you're actually weak as shit early game. By the way, like you, 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 you pretty much don't actually beat anyone else until level ten ish. Well, W build Diablo gets stronger at like around level seven. Any other build of Diablo don't really get strong until like level 10. First of all, you need your souls. Without your souls, you're squishy as shit. And you have zero souls at the start. And second of all, like the talents are really important too. Like without the talents, you're kind of weak. So what What like 95% of the Pepega ass Diablos in Storm League do, or more, more like 98%. What the 98% of the Pepegas do is they just like... Level 1, they just like send it, you know, they just like run into, charge into 5 people in the level 1 they ram and then they immediately die. And then they blame their teammates. And none of them ever know that you're weak until level 10. You're like a variant, you gotta, you gotta wait until you're actually strong. Can't fight the level 1 fight too hard. All right, number two rule of playing Diablo. When, when mini gun man or gun turn orange, you run away. See that? He he, he gun orange, me me run away. Yeah, that's important. You don't do that, you gun that. Make sure you do that too. Oh, gun not orange. Okay, I can fight. Gun not orange, I can fight. Gun Orange! Run! Ah, gun Orange! Run! If Gun Orange, immediately run. Or you die. Also, obviously, try to hit as many people with your W as you can. You know? That one goes without saying, surely. Okay, I can't. This guy's kind of annoying. Can you, can you stop hitting my tower, dude? Or you could dive him and flip him, stun him out of it. Uh, it depends on his minigun duration, yeah. I mean, if he just starts his minigun and you QE him, uh, his minigun is still going to be on by the time your QE is over. But yeah, if you could CC him for the rest of the duration, then go ahead. Alright, make sure we get the souls from the minions. W build Diablo, you know. Just want to make sure you're soaking the souls from minions and weaving your Ws into as many members of the enemy team as possible. Maximum soul game. Take any wall stuns you can get, of course. And I'm sure I don't need to talk too much about the the combo you at level seven. At level seven, uh, your your Q and your E reset your W, right? So obviously you need to keep that in mind. So you you want to use all the Ws, you know. You need to get three Ws out every time for max value. Normal W first, and then you Q someone, stun them, W again, E them, W again. And you get infinite souls and healing. That's about it. That's like 90% of W build Diablo. The 
W combo where in the vulnerable. You can spam spell shield whenever you want to. But spam spell shield before that combo usually because the W's do so much tick damage you just like instantly get the spell shield back. W. Orange gun bad. W. And repeat. W. W. And the last part of W D album, you just it's <laughs> whenever they're really clumped, you know. No one died that time though. That wasn't that good. Could have been better. Dip. Kinda rude, but okay, hammer. I don't even know what's happening anymore. I'm just spamming W's at them. But they're not dying. But neither am I. <laughs> Whatever, they'll run out of resources sooner or later. Oh, orange gun bat. this many W's many W's orange gun bad orange gun bad oh blue circle good W W you ain't standing shit once W build good <laughs> I mean W build is like it's pretty much always good it's a very general Diablo build. Pretty much always good, honestly. The best part about W build is you don't have to hard commit even if they, you know, if they have like too many things that just kill you instantly, which is really what Diablo's weak against. You don't even have to go in, you just spam W's. Keep healing. Talent. Used to think it's good for non-committing. That is one bonus of it, but that doesn't mean it cannot commit. I mean, it is good for not committing, but you can also commit with it, and it'll still be very strong. Just so much healing. W. W. The return healing is a lot more than the uh, outgoing healing too. So you wanna like make sure you get as many people in the return flames as possible too. When's it recommended to go AA Diablo? AA Diablo usually is good when you can auto attack a lot. So that usually means they have little CC, little blind. Also happens to be good against like the hyper mobile assassins like Tracer Genji Zara because uh, one of the AA talents gives you cooldown reduction on your on your spells, which means you get more stuns for those pesky hypermobile assassins with that build. Let's go 
Oh, this is all five? One V five time, YOLO. I'm dead. JK. Unless. JK. Oh shit. Oh never mind, not JK. Alright, can't one V five yet. I need level sixty. Is AA build or Q build better against low HP tracers, Leeming's Genjis? They're both good. It's pretty similar. Barely even a difference, honestly. Yeah, we 1v5 for a little bit, technically. True. Yeah! Okay. Oh, they're not dying. I'm not dying either, though. Or am I? Fudge, maybe I am. Goodbye, my friends. It was nice knowing you. Uh, space. Space. Made some space. Got DK. That counts for something. Yeah, if I had 100 souls, I would not die there, I think. All good, though. This minigun, this minigun probably has a bunch of stacks by now. Yeah, he, he has a bunch of miniguns next. He ripped that DK so fast. That's okay though. You never see Q build, is it worse? Um, probably in solo Q, Q build's a little bit weaker. Yeah. I think the best part of Q build is just uh, you can get your souls really fast. But that's like uh, not that important. Like AA build does better in the team fight than Q build most of the time. The AA lifesteal is a pretty big deal. Roasted hammer. Press complete on defeat. My beloved is gone, but his power remains. Oh shit, let me out. Oh, minigun guy bad. Is it true if you play with the noise, it's like 10% extra damage? Yeah, like 20% extra damage. I think it's closer to 20. But you're right. I mean, technically this is a 2 versus 5. 2 versus 5? Sounds doable. Sounds doable 5 me. He's so slow from my uh, level 16. Well, that's not even a 2 versus 5, that's a 2v3. That's free low. Oh, minigun guy bad. Minigun guy bad. Guy minigun bad. How come they're not chasing me though? What about that, man? Not sure what's happening here. Oh god. Whatever is happening, it's something. Something's happening. That guy just full healed off me. But I'm also kind of full healing off him. Oh, we're so fast. The hunter has become the hunty. Oh, hey, 
How's it going, man? Probably shouldn't stand right next to the wall, brother. Oh, he missed. It's lit. Oh my god, Avatar healing. I'm a race car. Man, you're just like so unkillable <laughs> at this point. Drip. Oh, trap him! He's stuck! People stuck! People stuck. Holy people stuck. Oh, 1v1, 1v1 alt showdown. Wait, there's a four hitting me, that's not fair. This was not the best idea. Not the best idea. Good enough though. With the ABBA hat and the <laughs> random heals, which is actually unkillable. Man, you must be excited for D4. Yeah, sure. I mean, I think everyone's excited for D4. Who's not excited for D4, you know? But, you know, I'm keeping my expectations reasonable. Like, it's, uh, I don't think D4 is going to be a, anything revolutionary. I don't think they've showed anything that's like, you know, next generation. I, I, I just expect it to be like a good Diablo game that's new. And that's good enough. Played the close bait, that's alright. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't think it's anything revolutionary, but people have just been waiting for like a game like that for a long time. Just something new that's reasonable. Imagine pressing the Odin button in front of Diablo. That means you do no damage. Why can't I set the forest on fire? You're not excited? You played 50k hours of D2, D3 was boring for you? Well, they did, they, they did say they are very much trying to make D4 more like D2 than D3. They've said that a bunch of times, so... Chances are you'll like D4 a lot more. Revel in your triumph. MVP. Good job, player. Thank you. Thank you. GG. Why winning so much? Kind of really hard to lose with.